And now at five, we are tracking the tropics and a large disturbance that we'll be watching throughout the week. CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is tracking it all for us tonight. Craig? Guys, this disturbance is huge. It's about 900 miles across, covering a good chunk of the central Atlantic. There it jumps out right away. As you look at it, you can make out the, the big, big swirl. And typically when they're this big, these disturbances, they have a hard time consolidating all that rotation there into one spot. So uh, until we get some thunderstorms going here to kind of draw that rotation in, it's just going to be a big lumbering disturbance that's going across the Atlantic. But obviously we need to keep our eyes on it because once it does get that thunderstorm activity going, it does have some potential for development. There it is out there east of the islands. There is still high development potential by the National Hurricane Center uh, for development to either a depression or a tropical storm in the next few days. So far, not seeing that taking place as of yet. Here are the computer models, and this is what kind of gets your attention right away basically to the west northwest this is the thursday time frame and then going in through the five day period here which is also the length of the cone there is the saturday time frame and and the reason we don't just dismiss this right away is because well number one it's headed towards us it's hurricane season number two there's a few models in here that are pretty reliable and anytime those reliable models kind of uh, keep it coming towards you you keep an eye on it now all of these models they basically show a pretty weak system, either a tropical storm or a weak hurricane. None of the models show any type of a major hurricane out there. One of the limiting factors, it's likely the Saharan dust, which is still out there. Big plume working its way across the Atlantic. Now, there are the models, and so the, uh, the system is going to be interacting with that dust. Dust is a big limiting factor. It inhibits development, so we really like to see that dust going on right now. What am I doing for this week? Well, it's a busy season, so I'm watching the developing disturbance. Obviously, it's my job, but also just as a, a viewer, someone who lives in South Florida, I'd be watching the disturbance every single day. I'm checking my hurricane supplies and plan, especially by weeks in, and I'm not getting worried or concerned right now. There's a lot of uncertainty with this, just something we need to keep our eyes on. I'll have more on that in our forecast coming up.